Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. In the last episode, we discussed 90s corporate culture, and now we're, we're going to stop doing that. We don't have to do that anymore. It really is. It's just like, I, I guess when I, uh, I think about something bizarre, like the concept of a achievement, my brain goes to strange and uh, scary places. Because when you think, of, when you boil down any bizarre concept, it usually comes down to like, um, not so much the player versus the game, but the, um, what would you call it? You know, the culture of marketing. You know, like uh, how how, I don't know how to put it, but like how a mechanic is related to the culture of selling something. Like, we, there's a lot of psychology in gaming, right? Um, you know, we talk about that. Like, when you think about, like, take for example, the most extreme example uh, is the gotcha. Okay. Uh, I talk about the gotcha occasionally um, to basically try and encapsulate a mechanic in games uh, when it comes to artificial scarcity, which is the the prime psychology of gotchas, and um, like artificial value. The value isn't the thing that you get from the gotcha. The value is in fact rolling, um, like spinning a wheel and you know, that's that's the that's the perceived artificial value uh, is being able to spin the wheel. You get to spin the wheel and then you maybe get to have the thing and it has a artificial scarcity. Even if it's the most common thing, like, you know, when I say like, uh, like uh, let's let's like use Magic the Gathering, for example. Okay, I think Magic the Gathering is one of the most the, the long most long form and successful gotchas. And uh, that, that may seem controversial to some, but it really is a gotcha. You have commons, you have uncommons, and you have rares, and now you have mythic rares. I, I th and mythic rares have been around for a little while now, um, but you know they're they're fairly in the in the history of Magic: The Gathering, they're a fairly recent um, thing. Okay, so um, you know even if you get a common. It's still artificial scarcity because, you know, there's only a certain number of that card. And yeah, it's more common than, say, a rare or a mythic rare or an uncommon. But, you know, it still means like there's only the one of that kind of card. And you are probably, if you're going to build a deck that requires that card, you're probably going to want more than one. So there is still a, pers you know, there's still artificial scarcity involved, um, even with the commons. So, but the, 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 the artificial scarcity involved, sorry, not the, the artificial value is in opening the pack of cards. That's the part that matters. So when we talk about gotcha, um, you know, the player, they're, they're, they care as much about rolling, spinning the wheel, opening the pack of cards, as they do about what's inside the pack of cards. It really is two parts, right? Um, if the player like opened all of the packs of cards oh carrying too much huh hold on a second i gotta i gotta drop some stuff i wish i had disassembling <laughs> let me let me get back to you in, in a second here oh i see it's because we've picked up like a ridiculous amount of stuff um I don't really want to, like, interrupt what I'm doing right now. Oh, let's- let's drop all the scrap. If the, um, if the- if the player or if the person- if a person acquired every single card, and I say every single, I mean like, you know, four- say four copies of every single card. I still think that there would- there would be value for them to open more packs like there's still a value in like what did i get 
um, even if they have everything. Like it, it, it's, and I, you know, I'm taking the idea of um, multiple sets off the table. We're not going to talk about that. Like, imagine there's only the one set of cards, and a player has acquired every single card then I still think they would occasionally go out of their way to buy packs. And I mean, like, the Magic the Gathering community is really just quite the, quite the, um, they, they've, they've been very well trained by Wizards, and they have even invented games that have to do with opening packs. Like, never mind the cards, now the game involves opening packs. You get the cards inside and you have to cr create a deck with those cards what a what a wonderful thing that the like uh wizard <laughs> the the magic the gathering community did basically for wizards they they did a lot of work for them and wizards loves them for that and have have you know gone ahead and and made a lot of this stuff more easy for them maybe also made a lot of money um but the, my my point still stands like a one set you get every single card you get four duplicates of every card like the you know the player a player a person has really gone out of their way maybe they even have an extra copy like a, a fifth copy of every single card that exists just for their collection just you know for display purposes and then they have four copies of every card um that are just meant to be played with you know uh, i still think that they would still open packs even though they have every single card so um, you know, when it comes to a gotcha, I, I, I do think that it's two parts. But when we talk about, like, the culture surrounding that mechanic, like, that mechanic is, is put very much in favor of making money, not so much for, like, um, making a good game. I'm not saying that magic isn't good. There's goodness in there, for sure. It is a very deep game. Um, but, like... You know, there's a good and bad implementation or execution for every every mechanic. Every mechanic can be there and used to abuse a person's faith. I say faith because the faith is really that the mechanic is there for the purposes, the good faith purposes of um, making the game good. It's there to be, you know, to to. For the purposes of the game and not for the purposes of making money that's that's the the kind of like the a swearsies pinky promise uh swearsies of 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 gaming culture of of like any kind of publisher or developer is we you know they they uh we got more reshev lore incredible um they 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 are making some kind of promise we pinky promise swear that this mechanic is here for the purposes of the game and because we think it will be fun for you, the player. And not because we want to manipulate you into giving us more money. That that would that would just be absurd. We wouldn't want to do that. That would that would that would be a no-no for sure. <clears throat> um and so, you know, like we I think we're all pretty aware. I think most people are aware that um, certain mechanics when it comes to a game are are there um, be for business purposes and not for uh, you know, fun. They're not there to be fun. They're there to make money, right? I think that, uh, you know, like we could talk about DLC. DLC is an easy one. I think that there's good DLC and then I think there's bad DLC. Uh, you know, we could talk about the most famous bad DLC, which is uh, like horse armor what what makes horse armor bad let's consider horse armor for example why is horse armor bad well because um its perceived value is not good enough to be um something that the player has to spend more money on that's an interesting idea why not well uh, because the item in question is like not valuable enough to have to spit like it really like it, it i already said it right <laughs> like it's um it's just horse armor right it doesn't add basically anything 
mechanically speaking to the game or if it does it seems like it's so inherently like it's such a core concept such a base concept that's really all it is there's no contrivance there's no depth there's no there's no there's nothing there that's nothing your armor your, your horse now has armor why wasn't that in the game that, that's just such a base concept why, why why do i have to never mind to buy this why do I have to download this? Why wasn't it something that was just in the game in the first place? Like, the the horse is notoriously, um, like, a, a kamikaze. It, it just loves to j run into combat and die. And it would be very helpful towards for the player to not have to deal with that mechanic. But we did deal with that mechanic. But now you've gone ahead and said that you thought about it you actually put thought into fixing something like that but instead of offering it in the game you have uh, delegated it to like an extra purchase why is it such a problem because it it felt so inherently core it, it was so base and and so uh like you know it, it just it, it felt like it should have been in the game in the first place and I, like, it, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Like, it's such a weird thing. What, what do you mean? Like, you know, I, I've listened to a lot of interviews with various indie developers when it comes to like making a game. One of my favorites is Edmund McMillan and Edmund McMillan, if you don't know, like made Super Meat Boy or at least in part uh, and the Binding of Isaac and stuff like this and you know like they t talk about like what they consider how they consider making a game and it really it, it's you are trying to discover what the game is at its core and then removing all of the parts that aren't that game and then adding parts that allow that core to shine through you're adding parts that allow the core concept of your game to to shine through and i think that's why cud is so successful is because it, i think the developers of cud understand that wholeheartedly you every 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 single part and mechanic that is added to cud it doesn't contrive cud it's it allows the like it's very deepest part the part that you think is hidden to to like shine through all of those layering mechanics none of the layering mechanics get in the way of the core concept of cud i can't even tell you what the core concept of cud is like you know ex explaining some eldritch thing but i know it when i play cud that nothing is getting in the way of it of it then that's why quality of life um mods are my favorite is because those are so good at making the core of cud so accessible also we ran out of swamp i never found the stupid thing <laughs> never found it um so let's go buy some more cloning draught <sighs> yeah that was a lot of time spent looking for something i couldn't find hey if you still find it if you see the uh, shiny glow pad in my my uh video at all i i'm i'm serious about that 20 dollars theme gift card why not? Hearth of Wife of a Peru. Um. I can't. I don't know what I was talking about. I mean, like. Okay, so that, w w coming back to the horse armor for a second. It's because that concept seems so inherently part of that game. It feels like it's something that um would assist the player in in enjoying a game like that um and without it really doesn't like they, they just were not you just don't enjoy the game as much i don't know how to it's a weird one because like that's that could be said about any dlc right maybe you could say that um a good dlc will, will allow the player to enjoy the game more in theory i know it's you know not in practice maybe but that's supposed to be the the whole point is it not of dlc ok 
Okay. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to... I guess it really just comes down to the fact that, uh, like, horse armor just seems like such a basic idea. You know? It's like if you, uh, bought Minecraft and, um, like, the, and, and like, Cobblestone was a DLC. Oh, are we not friends? Oh, we are not friends in Eid Freehold anymore. Uh, they don't like us in Eid Freehold anymore. Oh, no. Okay, well, um... I, I guess we are enemies to Eid Freehold. I am currently having a, a hole burrowed into my brain, and I am too heavy to uh, do anything about it. So we're going to drop our weighted our, 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 our weight and try and leave before our head explodes although an achievement is acquired for having our head explode so maybe i should have let that happen and now of course i have made a checkpoint in a, a fairly dangerous zone okay well let's just see what happened Let's let's see what happens. We are frozen. Do we have any uh, blaze injectors? We do. Yeah, my reputation with Eid Freehold is far from good. Um, man, people are not gonna like me for this one. I'm not talking about in-game, I'm talking about at a game. I, I, I mean, I, I know I asked for this. I know this is my fault. Um, so I'm gonna let this man explode my head. Uh, in order to get an achievement. I deserve this. Uh, are you burrowing a hole in my head? I'm 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 giving it to you. Where where is this uh is this ironically the only one not attacking me right now is the warden? That is hilarious. I'm sorry, that's really funny. Okay, well I'm I'm really sorry. I have to apologize for for uh, this. Mac to the southeast burrows. Okay, well, like, can you can you do it properly? Please burrow a hole in my head properly. You were psychically extinguished by Mac. He didn't explode my brain, so I didn't get the achievement. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, whelp. I'm gonna I'm gonna try again real quick. I, I mean I you know things went pretty well for the most part. I I could have survived that absolutely. Okay, Mac, I need you to like do this properly. Still, I'm not like linked in psychic battle. Okay. not really sure what I'm doing here, to be honest. I don't have to be doing this. I think it's hilarious that the only one not aggro on me right now is uh, the Wardens, because I, I usually go out of my way to make friends with Wardens. Okay, um, let's recoil. Our, I think we are still friends with, um, let's try, let's try Ezra. Let's see if we are friends to Ezra. I I hope we are. Um, I don't really want to 
We're not friends to the uh, the goats in Ezra. Okay, we are okay with six true. That's good. Uh, I, I do want to like I guess put a pin in like cult. I, I don't know like mechanics that are are for the purposes of selling or making money rather than um, you know serving the player. I don't really have a good answer. There's not really a good place for this to end. Uh, it's just like, I, I, I like to think about these things. I think it's, you know, it's not obvious enough to people in general, because, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of people who are, who get very excited about something that is very obviously kind of a grift. You could just call it a grift. Let's just refer to it as a grift. Um, what I mean by that is like, you know, me mechanics that are, aren't serving the player. They're serving the, um... The company, you know. Let's call it a grift. There are, there are a lot of people that get very excited about that. And, um, you know, that's a kind of a shame because it, it, at least it tells me, you know, that uh, we're not getting out of this anytime soon. You know, like the, the company wins. The house wins, you know, like double zero. You know, when you talk about the, the wheel on the roulette table um in in you know like a casino it's if you only bet on either red or black you would think that you have a 50 50 chance of winning right except for the fact that there's double zero and that's when i talk about um like mechanics that are serving the company and not serving the player um, the house wins because there is less than a 50-50 chance that any, any given thing by a lot, at least for, this is true for like triple A's. I think it's fair to say that a lot of most indies are, uh, you know, they have good faith. They are trying to make something. They, uh, most, mostly believe that, um, you know, video games are an art form and uh treat it as such you know like i think that's true of most indies i'm sure there's a few bad faith you know bad apples out there but i don't know them and i'm not going to talk about them um but you know like the house still wins people get excited about stuff that is like very clearly a grift and uh and it sucks and i i don't have a good silver lining here and there's not really any any good you know like the it sucks. It just kind of sucks. So I, I try, I, th I guess that's one of the reasons I like to um, show off as many games on my channel as I do and talk about games that I think are, are really good. They have a good heart. They're made by people with good hearts. And, um, you know, I, I, I like to celebrate that. You know, I like to go out of my way to, to, shed a spotlight on that kind of stuff um i'm gonna l end this episode early a little bit because i actually am starting my stream in about five minutes but um <laughs> you can catch my streams at tuesdays uh 12 p.m est on this channel if you want to come uh, see me live and uh be sure to hit this that like button and uh con consider subscribing if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much to the supporters of the coffee. You're really, you're doing, doing the Lord's work on. <laughs> now, is that a grift? You tell me. Let me know in the comments. Am, am I grifting you? Am I, am I a four flusher? Am I the house? Am I the man? Maybe I am the man. Who knows? <laughs>